Hi, this is Paige from Pagey Draw, and welcome to my video tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to be coloring a chibi. Okay, so for coloring, uh, I always use Copic sketch markers, which um, are like this. And you can get them at my online store, shop.pagedraw.com. Um, they're cheaper than getting them at your local store, but also they're actually really hard to find in art stores. So, so right now I'm going to be using uh, floral white for my skin. Well, the skin base color. I used to use one shade darker, but I like starting with a very, very light color as a base, and then I can make it darker from there. I personally find it's much easier. And Copic markers are much different than normal markers. Um, you can keep going over and over that one line and you will not get any streaks. Um, if you're doing a large area, you, it's really hard to not to streak it, but it will do much better than getting um, markers not made for art. So I'm going to add some blush. Um, I add the pink color just before I start shading the skin because I want the pink to blend into the base and then when I go over with a darker skin color it will blend in much better so it's not just one pink gob. And then just finished that part and I will go over with my floral white again just to make sure it gets mixed in a lot and then I will go over with the skin white. I always find that once you start shading the skin, it, it's much quicker. So when I'm just adding the darker colors, because you're not doing much, you've already done everything with the pink and the base. So now I'm going to start coloring the dress and the accessories. So I'm starting with this light brown. This GB was inspired because I really, really, really want cotton candy ice cream. So <laughs> her top is like a waffle cone and her skirt's going to be the ice cream. So I just started with this um, brick beige as the base for the waffle cone. And then I'm going to do the base for this skirt. So I'm going to start with pink. And I'm going to use the same for the little bow on her shoes, or boots. And then I'm going to be shading with, uh, for the pink parts, R81 and R85, so rose red and rose pink. And for the skirt, I'm going to be using just a tiny bit of violet and viola. And for the uh, waffle cone parts, I'm going to be using light camel and light walnut. So, we can fast forward. So, what I did to shade was all I just went over where my fine lining was and just added more color and um, just added the different colors to bring the dress out and the shoes out. So. Now I'm going to start coloring the hair, and I'm going to start with light camel. And then you have the base color, and I don't want to leave that as the hair color, because it's not that interesting. So I'm going to be adding some light walnut, and I start at the bottom, each bottom piece of the hair, and I go up. Then the hair still looks pretty boring, so I'm going to be adding some dark brown and just a little bit of it. Because I find when you add darker colors to the hair, it just makes it stand out a bit more. Now 
I'm just going to use some brick beige just to kind of, I know I said it not to blend, but I'm just trying to blend the lightest part so it doesn't look as bright. And then just going over with my light walnut. More. And then right after that, I add my white gel pen. Um, sometimes, you don't really have to. Just kind of add a bit of it to the hair. And if you don't want a solid line, you can just smudge it. And it just makes a little bit of shine. And now the final part is to color the eyes. So for the base of the eyes, I'm going to use Mauve Shadow. And I'm going to let that dry for about a couple seconds. Um, when I do eyes, I like to make sure that the ink is more, like a bit more dry than I normally have it because um, since eyes are so small, all it's going to do is blend in if you don't let it dry. So I just put some viola on there, just to the top. There's not much of a color difference, but it's best to add, even if it's a slight change, just add that color. And I'm going to use rose red, top bit. Is it just going to make it a little bit more bright? And then I'm going to go over with Eula again. And then I'm just going to let it dry for a minute again. Okay, now I'm just going to draw the pupil, which I always just do half of it. I never do the full thing. I never complete the circle, is what I mean. And then I'm just gonna kind of shade the inside of it. I don't know, the side looks a little bit fun. And then to finish off the eyes, you're just going to add a couple dots of white gel pen. Just to add a little bit of shiny to it. And you've finished coloring your chibi. Thanks for watching my Pagey Draw video tutorials. Please check out Pagey Draw on Facebook. I want cotton candy ice cream.